on this episode of Find Love or Die Trying. Ah! Wait a minute. If you're talking to me here, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but... The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Oh, God. You hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Just slightly? God. I slammed into the wall yet again. <laughs> well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the... <laughs> This is a disaster. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was going to be the death of me. <laughs> I tried to run to the cockpit, but it was all I could do to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding, I've got this. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball on a pinball machine. All right, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God, I really thought we were gonna... Oops. Once again... The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it was bent back into its original shape. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Alright, that was dumb luck and you know it. That's not how planes work. And now, on to the show. Morning, Swoon. You'll be happy to know your third date with Scarlet yesterday was pretty well received. Not the highest rated we've had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone you think the audience will respond well to. Though at this point, I think you're in a pretty good spot either way. Without further ado, which soulmate candidate is it gonna be? Save the best for last. I want Allie to be the last. Oh god, but I feel like Violet... Oh god, I'm just gonna save. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure I want to save you. Okay. We're gonna go on a date with Violet. Violet's our number two. Oh. <clears throat> Violet. You didn't let me down, Swoon. I had my doubts with Violet at first, but now I can see why she's the audience favorite. Don't mess it up. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh god. She's supposed to be last. I could feel it in my bones. I feel it. I could feel it in my bones. Found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. Damn, this music. Looks swanky. That nice horn and everything. That upright bass, too. Boom, 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 boom. God damn. Uh, morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Don't mind me, you know, just vibe into the music. Picked out good music today, Violet. Oh, I know, right? I love this when I'm baking specifically. It reminds me of home. Ow, oh, hot. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. It's was... delicious. Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh soon. <laughs> I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind my back and put on my best fancy accent. The pleasure's all mine, milady. Mm. Stop you. I whiffed out another cookie. Hell yeah. Do you know... Do yeah, You do know those are for sharing with everyone, right? I am part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together at the bit we were performing. Oh, that reminds me. Swoon. What's up, Violet? I just said my name the way that some people say it, and that just freaked me out. <laughs> I do love myself. <clears throat> That's for certain. It's come to my attention that this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. Um, the, the kind that normal people go on. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> bro, let me tell you about the kind of date that normal people go on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a song for this. Hold on. She told me that her dad was loaded. 
She didn't walk because I have her. I mean, Coca Cola, she said fine. I wanna live like common people. I wanna do whatever common people do. Literally what's happening on screen right now. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Super Mario, yeah. I don't know. Gotta start it somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Violet to the supermarket. Yeah. Okay, back to the game, sorry. <laughs> I just had to, I immediately thought of that when she's like, I wanna go on a normal date. What do you mean a normal date? We're all just trying our best out here. The kind that I've only... The kind that I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at a theater, long walks on the beach, even something crazy like a paint night. <laughs> Those are normal... Dude, dinner in a movie. That's, that's what most people do. <sighs> Left for 30 whole seconds and you're lost. It's because she wants to go on a quote-unquote normal person date. And then we can watch the sunset go down together and it'd be so romantic. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bounding around the room like a ping pong ball. I think she looks kind of reserved and, and timid right now, but sure, we'll go with bound, bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I said, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> Can we now? Which one? Well, I'm gonna take you to the supermarket first and foremost. <laughs> She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Really? You've gotta be kidding me. What's at the supermarket? Oh, baking products and people who are sad. If only we weren't on, weren't on a island with no other people besides the goons and the five of you and me and the producer and the director. What a dystopia. This whole world is a dystopia. You can count on me, Violet. As I ate another cookie. I'll make it happen. She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling looking at her. That's it, I have no idea what to do. Guess this will be touch and go. Wouldn't be fair. If you figured out everything. Uh, it wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. What, does she have this planned or something? Oh, I gotta turn off flux. No. Ah, shit, disable until sunrise. Uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. Oh my god. Whoever this artist is, is like, yeah, just fantastic. We walked outside for a while, then settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for a picnic. The way her silver hair, the way her silver cut, the way her silver cut the sunlight was enough to make you believe in angels. The, the silverware or her sil silver hair? She was so beautiful. She, she, she. Dig in. I, I brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because of who's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You made this week so special. I feel the same way, Spoon. And there is more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me one, Spoon. Hmm? What? We enjoyed that. What happened with the... 
I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me one, Spoden. Question mark. Oh, cat. What? Oh, I didn't even realize that was cat. <laughs> I was like, wait, why did she say that? You owe me one, Swoon. <clears throat> we enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. Picnic basket looks like... Looks a lot like a bento box. Look. Look. You'd be happy with a bento for, for a picnic, too. We walk back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. <clears throat> Next stop. The only movie theater on the island. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. You've never been in the game room. Not surprised. Tara's pretty territorial about this room from what I've seen and heard. <laughs> but right now, it's our very own private movie theater. I did a little jazz hands at the TV. <laughs> Violet clapped as if I had just put on a performance of a lifetime. I made a dramatic bow, then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see, we have rom-coms, fantasy, medieval movies, war movies, these superhero movies, you know. Got that MCU lineup. I don't think she would want to spend three days catching up so that she could watch uh, any of the newest movies. Uh, but that's, uh, last but not least, a single horror movie. I'll put on a rom-com. From what Violet was saying earlier, this would definitely be her favorite. I started the movie, then went back and sat next to Violet with my arm around her. The story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer. Falls in love with the boy she meets there, and eventually realizes her dream and her love. A place called New York? What is this dystopian world that they live in? It wasn't anything special, but Violet was thoroughly entranced for the whole movie. Me, I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst in tears. This was the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> my whole life. Then how about we take a scene you liked from the movie and turn it into a painting? <clears throat> Oh my gosh, <laughs> you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. <laughs> okay. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat, you think, I think you know the stitch. You got some nerve putting this together at the last minute, but I like that about you. Four set up everything they need for a paint night in the main hall of the mansion, stat. Oh man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you've got free time for this. And so we started painting on canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture of... Am I a good painter? Dude, it could just be hilariously bad if I pick this. I'm Swoon. I know how to draw. Psh. Violet and I watching the movie together. This counts, right? What are you painting, Swoon? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together, I announce, after talking about it twice in text already. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know. It'd be a shame not to capture it. You are quite the flirt, you know that? But I like that about you. Her smile could melt the coldest heart. So which scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves her. To tell the boy that she loves... Is the boy trans? To tell the boy that she loves him. It was just so romantic. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into the painting. She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of hits. I was working from there. Uh, why can't the protagonist be good at painting? It, because I chose... Uh. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final artworks. She's an incredibly talented artist. Me. 
that was worth it just to see her smile and stuff. Her laughter was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound. But who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner, your majesty? Hmm. Ah, I do believe it is. Uh -huh. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went to on our first date, so we did. Apparently she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. Woman, eat food. She ate it up in a storm, almost literally, almost. We spent dinner woofing down delicious food without a care in the world and laughing about scenes in the movie and our little artsy adventure. And finally, oh, we did have dinner in a movie. All right. I guess this is the most normal date that we could have besides going to the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, we went for the long-awaited walk on the beach. We held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. At other times, we enjoyed each other's company and warmth and silence. Either way, we were as happy as can be. We talked about the how the past, the present, the future were so different than before because of each other. Okay, so let me explain to you my reasoning for liking Allie more than Violet. Um, lesbians just date differently. Uh, so like this is, Violet is definitely like your traditional like sort of like romancing and like leading up to the big kiss and like a different kind of connection you know Allie's a really good lesbian because she just like goes for it she doesn't fucking care and that's that's why I like Allie so much and also because in a lot of uh, my past um, the people that I've date dated in the past, I've just, like, gone for it. You know, Swoon, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had. Right there, yep. And what came next was the perfect ending to our lovely date. Come closer. After my date with Violet, I waited around outside till the time I'd expect to see Kat, but she never showed up. I guess she already has enough footage for today. Might as well try to find her. No one's here. Looks like the snacks from before are gone, too. Not here, either. I like that background. Damn, that's a really nice... <laughs> that's a really nice background. <laughs> Can we blow this up and have this as just, like, a background for, for us in real life? That's really nice. <laughs> I like those colors. I like the composition. Got a nice triangle, got like a space over there. Draws your eyes around really nicely. <laughs> ah, Kat was at a table writing something down at a frantic pace with one hand against her head. Hey Kat, what's up? Oh, hey Swoon. Hi, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? That depends on what you're ominously writing. You looked just like someone who realized I was dead meat. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. Somebody's dead meat, but it's not you. Yay? Grocery store is classic third date material. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheets two was working on. Being an accountant was never really in the cards for them, despite what they say. Sit down, I'll be stuck here a while anyway. Sure, sounds good. 
sat next to Cat at the table. So how'd day today's date with Violet go? It was really good. Um, it's predictable. I, I'm ready for my adventure tomorrow with Allie, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, I will say that this was what I, what I, it was good, yes. Being with Violet makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Somehow she takes my breath away with how cool she can be. Oh my god, Maggie, hell yeah, magnetic raid here. Hello, hello everybody. How's it going? What were you up to? And get you a shout out. Uh, uh, I don't do this very often anymore. <clears throat> Hell yeah. You're just chatting? Hell yeah. What were you talking about? Making fries. Hell yeah. Are they goblin fries? <laughs> Have we figured out the recipe set, y'all? Tell me when you get back. Hello, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Swoon. I'm a variety streamer. <clears throat> I like doing visual novels with uh, and doing like silly voices for different characters and stuff. Uh, I also play Metroidvanias in a lot of indie games. They're my favorites. I also write and draw. They're Chris Cut Fries. Hell yeah, Saviel. Somehow she takes my breath away with how cool she can be. And at the same time, make me laugh like a child alongside her. Certainly near an end. Oh god. I had no idea that I'd fall for her so hard after our first meeting, but I couldn't help myself. And now what I want most is to make her the happiest woman in the world. I mean, not really. Don't put words in my mouth, please. Now that's what I like to hear. I had my doubts at first, but you two really stole the show. Oh god, I, she should have been the last one. Oh god. And with good reason, I feel like our viewers got to see a glimpse of what your lives together would be like. Maybe the mess in the kitchen won't be from the dough next time. Hmm. <clears throat> no comment. Anyway, you've done great till now. I don't know if what you've said to each of the girls really is true, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day, and you'll be able to finally leave this place. And you'll tell me what my old life was like. Of course. I mean... If I didn't, where would you even go? Fair point. Also, the visual novel let me choose uh, to be a lady, so um, I'm I don't have to to be forced into the role of a guy in in this VN, which is very nice. It's always nice. The more and more VNs that come out these days, the more the more you get to just decide. If they're not like directly like Yuri or or uh, Yaoi, you look like you've got something on your mind. What is it, cat? Ah, I'm just thinking about tomorrow. Honestly, if I could, I would date Cat, but she's not an option. She hasn't been an option. The ratings requirements for the last date and the last day are the high. Oh fuck. I'm sure it's going to be fine, don't worry. I've made it this far, nothing's going to stop me from making it to the end. I hope so. For your sake, Swoon. Okay, so I have a save right before this day, so I can go back and get the curve. I don't know. The ratings with my favorite girl aren't going to be high enough, because the fan favorite is Violet, the girl we just had a date with. And I... I hope so too, Cat. So when I'm out of here, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna move on to the next killer dating show? I didn't know you were my career coach. You wanna know my five-year plan too? I get the feeling that five years from now, you'd rather not be here. Cheat! It's a dating sim. That's what you do. You save at specific points so that you can go back. Haven't touched visual novels in a while. Started playing Digimon Survive. Is Digimon Survive a, a visual novel? Sorry, I don't know that much about Digimon. I hope you're having fun with it, though. There is no plan. 
I'm just taking it one day at a time. Dude, I think that confirms that the world off of this island is fucked, just like in Danganronpa. Like, I can't leave because there's no world to go back to, and we're just not allowed to know that. That's really all anyone can do in the crazy world. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Good luck, Swoon. You'll need it. Thanks, Cat. I'll see you later. Night. Tomorrow's gonna be the last date. I'll need all the rest I can get. I guess I'll call it a night. Visual novel tactics RPG. Oh, that's pretty cool. Performance is coming to a close. The actors and actresses come out one by one, ready to take their bows. I would clap, but I'm waiting for you and only you. Also, we keep having these weird dreams. And at first I thought it was hinting that Cat was like our original love and like somehow like everything got whipped up into a st storm and like the pieces fell in place so she's like the director and not something that we can without a child filter that's awesome hell yeah thanks for joining us ssj matt it's great to have you here hello welcome to the swooniverse waking up next to violet felt like waking up next to an angel We'd walked back from the beach past midnight last night, so any rest we could get was very welcome. Oh, also, I'm recovering from COVID. I'm like 80 or 85% like fully recovered, but like my throat's still a little screwed up. Every now and then I'm eating a halls or I have to cough or like blow my nose or something, so I apologize if uh, sick noises kind of bother you. For several minutes, all I could do was watch her silver hair catch the sunlight. <clears throat> she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I'll be good soon. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mmm, morning, Swoon. Morning to you too, Violet. And do you mind if we just, perhaps, stay here for a spell? Not one bit. Fantastic. She rolled herself towards me and hugged me with all her strength. Mm, no take backs. We laid together in bed all morning, enjoying each other's warmth and company. I don't want this moment to end. I simply cannot wait till we leave here together, Swoon. We will be the greatest partnership for all time. An empire like no other. I do like ambitious... I do like an ambitious woman. Ah, it's time for you to spend some time with another girl, no? Yeah, sorry about that. It's in the contract. Hmm, no matter. To bicker about this would be fruitless. It's the very nature of this show. Do entertain yourself with whoever today's date will be. But know that anything she could offer would pale to what a queen could. Oh, you're running out of time, Kit Kat. It's going to be fine. Just watch. Good morning, Cat. Morning, Swoon. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, thanks. You bet you did. That bed is worth more than your life. Ha ha ha! I could bury you in money right now if I snapped my fingers. Ahem, <clears throat> anyway... That reminds me, why can't the staff have the same kind of bed that Swoon has? Do I look like I'm made of money? You just said that you could bury Swoon in a mountain of money. <clears throat> well, never mind. And besides, you literally own this island. If I give the staff beds next, they'd ask for is minimum wage. No thanks. <laughs> I didn't take over the world so that I could pay people. <laughs> or give them decent living conditions. He walked away. So, how about that five-year plan, huh? <laughs> Maybe the brothers were onto something with this whole accounting thing. Anyway, it's time for your last date with your last soulmate candidate, Allie. You ready? It's time to make or break. All right, I'm ready as I'll ever be, Cat. 
You may think that Allie's not, not going to have good ratings, but I promise you, me and her, that chemistry we got... <coughs> And without further ado, lights, camera, don't get yourself killed. Hell yeah, Matt. I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not going to believe this, Swoon. Uh, what's that? All right, Ugh. all right, who took my keys? You've got 10 seconds before I take it out of Forrest's paycheck. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll walk and talk, come on. Well, less walk, maybe more like run like hell. Four is not going to be happy when he finds out that I... Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever, come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? Did she find the secret boat? What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon. Oh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things, Swoon. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. This is a staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Maybe it's not a boat. Just a bit more now. All right. You can open your eyes now. Oh shit, it's the fucking plane. Bro, <laughs> are we gonna fucking fly away and escape? <laughs> How on earth? We were inside a small plane, the very same one I'd been rudely awakened in my first day here. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, uh, why not, right? I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... <clears throat> Without even bothering to answer me, Allie rushed to the cockpit. Yes! My fucking... Yes! She is the best! Oh my god, I chose right. Oh, <laughs> not oh crap. Oh, yes. Here's hoping that this goes better than the rollerblades. Uh, I wonder what this big red button does. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ran for the door, but it is already shut tight. And away we go. The engine of the plane roared as we took off, slammed into the side of the door. Ugh. Come on. Be honest, you were thinking the same thing. You put a big juicy red button there completely unattended and you expect a good citizen like me not to press it. You're bonkers. You've got a point, but do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute. If you're talking to me here, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but... The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Oh God. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Just slightly? God. I slammed into the wall yet again. <laughs> well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was going to be the death of me. <laughs> I tried to run to the cockpit, but it was all I could do to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding, I've got this. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball on a pinball machine. All right, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God, I really thought we were gonna... Oops, once again. The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it was bent back into its original shape. Not so bad if I do say so myself. All right, that was dumb luck and you. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we started gaining altitude. Slowly at first, then faster and faster, higher and higher. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Allie yelled out in triumph. <laughs> I joined it and yelled out with glee. 
it's it's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash, you mean? Flying free. Without it, what's the point of living? Oh my god, we've had this dream. Oh god. You talking about freedom or flying? <clears throat> ah, why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew up here. I flew us up here. What's that, Allie? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us here. Oh, shit. And sorry for the turbulence, but without the... They... But without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier, to find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about, then. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do, and I can't risk telling you everything either. Oh shit. What? Why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we all- before we'll have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Sure enough, we had already started descending. Please, just trust me. I'm on your side, Swoon. I know there's so many lies going around here, but I really want to help- help you get out of here. Oh. I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. <laughs> it's a good thing you're so cute. Oh, shucks, are you going to compliment me like that? I'm kidding, jeez. But, but anyway, do you trust me? Yeah. Of course I do, Allie. You know that. You won't regret it. Promise. So, what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that the people I work with need. What? <coughs> Allie, what? <coughs> so wait, are, are you saying you don't want to date me after this is all over and everything? Uh, is you, You're just here to, to stop, like, a crazy conglomerate man from taking over the world like I figured was happening? It's life or death, not just for you or me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. Though, at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Wh whose? Dude, tell me it's six. Tell me that he was turned into a vegetable. <laughs> I'm like, my brain's like going burr like real hard. Tell me that he got turned into a vegetable and then he, she, she turned him back or something. Who else is he? It wouldn't be the producer guy. That guy actually wants me to, to keep suffering, suffering. Love her shirt. I know, it's so cute. No time to talk. We're almost back in range of the island's recording network. <clears throat> no matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. All right, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else, what else? Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> that really doesn't limit it to much. Uh, I guess not. After we landed, Kat scolded us for taking the plane. Kat and Allie seemed to exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. As we were walking away, I heard Cat whisper something to Allie. Nice try. And then I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. No! Oh no! No, Allie! The sky rapidly turned from bright blue to black as if it were water being drowned in the darkest ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind. Even though I knew I was standing outside, I couldn't even see my hands in front of my face. Then I felt somebody grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must be several somebodies. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. I screamed, but there was no sound. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed at Allie for her to run as far as she could, but I heard no response. Then nothing.
no, it's similar to Doki Doki how um, there aren't a whole lot of dialogue options, um, but I get to choose who I'm dating in what order, similar to Doki Doki, how like you determine like who your poem is written for each day in a way, you know? That's like the only sort of similar similarity that I can like sort of draw. I woke up on an operating table, the kind you'd see in a nightmare. My first instinct was to get a to get up to get off. My first instinct was to get up and get off it as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Morning, Swoon. What's going on, cat? Get me out of here! I'm afraid I can't do that. Honestly, I'm getting tired of explaining why. Let's just speed this along, shall we? What are you talking about? She placed some kind of helmet on my head. I tried to avoid it, but the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. See you soon, Swoon. You're taking your bow, and when you lift your head, I can see you clearly for the first time. It's you, the one I'd been waiting all this time to see, the one who made me dream of a life together far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the day, Swoon. You nervous? Who wouldn't be? You've got a point. She reached for my hand and held it tightly. I knew! You okay? You sure we should be doing this? I I don't want you to be punished just because I want to get out of here. Hey, cat. We've always been a team. You and me. I knew it! God, I fucking called it! <laughs> I still like Allie more, but God, I like cat a lot too. No matter what, we're in this together. Thanks, Swoon. How did things come to this? The escape failed. Been surrounded, beaten, shot, betrayed. The love of my life, she shot me. I'm bleeding out rapidly. I try my best to slow the bleeding, but it's no use. What did you do to her? I choke out every last word. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't have to. You were too busy making hard eyes at Cat here to see where her true loyalty is lied. I'm sorry, Spoon, but it's true. I... I don't understand. Why don't you tell them, dear? Damien is my father. I knew you were planning something the moment you came to this island. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me exactly what it was. So I became close to you and told you just what you wanted to hear. And then you told me everything I needed to know. As soon as you told me your plan, there was no way you were ever going to escape from this island. Why are you saying this? Now that's my girl. You really are my daughter. <laughs> Why? I love the look on your face, Swoon. You know, you got an expression that would be perfect for my next show. And it just so happens, we've got an opening just for you. I can imagine like Markiplier like, uh, voicing this, this man. That'd be really good. It's no use, I've lost too much blood. The world turned dark. This is the end. Keep them alive. Swoon. You might think I'm showing you mercy, but believe me, by the end of this, you're going to wish I had just let Cat kill you. Why? Why, Cat? Why would you? I barely have time to breathe before waves pull me under once more. God, what a good fucking game!